Karma 1.3 is primarily focused with ensuring that you prohibit direct traffic from the internet into the cardholder data environment. And there are several things that we look at uh, in order to achieve this. First of all is that we establish uh, policies and procedures, of course. Um, we look to make sure that you have a firewall established between the DMZ and the internet. Uh, and then next we look to make sure that you have a firewall established between your DMZ and your cardholder data environment. Now secondary to that is we also look to make sure that all inbound traffic is going to terminate into the DMZ in some capacity. We look at your firewalls and routers and we look to see what you're filtering for. Uh, we make sure that all traffic that's inbound into your environment is uh, explicitly authorized uh, as part of that 116 requirement that we've often talked about. We look to make sure that you're not storing any cardholder data in the DMZ. If you're doing that, you really don't have a DMZ. One of the areas that most organizations often get in trouble here is where they have applications that will uh, accept uh, credit card data for payment or for processing, and they'll temporarily write it into a file. Uh, that is uh, specifically prohibited by the PCI DSS. So once again, requirement 1.3 is making sure that we're going to prohibit the inbound traffic uh, into directly into your cardholder environment and that that data is terminated into the DMZ.